Hello guys, it's Jim. Um, I'm an extreme beater. I am a full-time Evo reseller. Buy stuff at car shops, car boots, etc. Sell it on eBay for a profit. I'm out and about today. Bit of charity shopping. I've got the old GoPro with me. So uh, take some footage, see if we can find some stuff, see if we can make some money and see what we can, you know, what treasures we can find. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Let's get in the charity shop. Spotted some uh, scales that looked interesting in the window. I checked them. They were, I thought they may have been old Avery ones or similar, but uh, they were quite modern, so uh, not worth it. Cleaning old hands, as you have to do now. I seem to follow this lady in front of me here around every single shop. I think she may well be a reseller. Hello to you, if you are. I hope you did well. You certainly seem to fill some bags. Saw a mug set here that looked quite interesting but I think it's one that Age um, UK sells as new anyway um, so there's no problem buying that, there'll be no money in it. I had to go the wrong way around the one my system here so uh, you know don't tell anyone. Shh. Had a look in the uh, kids section See if there's any toys or anything. There was a couple of tweenies which I normally would buy, but these were seven pounds each, so I didn't touch them because uh, at that sort of money, there's just no point. These books looked interesting. It's like a set of um, Disney um, knowledge books. They were ninety nine pence each. I must admit, I didn't check on them. I uh, I meant to, um, but. Uh, yeah, on to the menswear. There was some interesting bits here that um, I would have considered buying, but the prices were just too much. There was a few um, Tommy Hilfiger and, and brands like that um, shirts, but as you can see, the prices just make it. I mean, you could obviously sell it for more than that, but you wouldn't make enough to make it worthwhile. Some Adidas trainers. They were nine ninety nine. I considered them because you'd probably double your money, but there was a bit too much wear on the heels. There was these Clark's blue sort of suede, blue suede shoes. That's a uh, Elvis song, isn't it? Um, but again, actually thinking about it, I may well should have bought them. They were only four ninety nine. I think uh, could probably have. Uh, Got 15 to 20 for them, should all. Oh well. A um, few jackets, again, same problem. The branded stuff was just too expensive, so not worth it. Let's check the media. There were some DS games, but uh, they were all £2.49 each, except that one, which I think was £4.99, Professor Layton. So, again, no point in buying them. On to the next shop. Get more hand sanitizer. Has to be done. Spotted some uh, vans. They were the deep sort of platform um, ones, so they, they're decent vans, but they were nine ninety nine. Um, again, just no money. These these were Kurt Geiger shoes. Now I, I presume that means something. To somebody, I obviously I'm not a big um, fashionista, um, but yeah, they look quite nice to be fair. And they were twenty five quid. I don't know if that's good or bad. Finally, found something. This is a um, but this is a personal purchase. It's for this camera that I'm currently recording on because uh, the angle is not very good. This is a swivel mount for a GoPro. So I've been looking at them on eBay for about eleven, twelve quid. Saw this one for two quid, so we'll have that. Spotted this um, backpack here. Checked it on the phone. Definitely worth buying. So uh, had that one. It's 
big, I'll tell you. <laughs> Eight pound bargain. Tech shop. Ah, uh, drop the GoPro. Don't! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh well, no damage done. They're made for that. They're made for that. It's the lighting in there that's making it flash. It is not damaged. Here's. Um, yeah. Checked in here. Now that, again, this is another charity shop where the prices are. They're obviously researched. You know, respect to them for doing it. They obviously want to make as much money as they can. But the prices just make it too much, really, for me to, to buy stuff. But hopefully they, they do all right. Had a quick flip through anyway. Sometimes you can find the odd bit. But this time, no. Nothing there for me. I think there was a Levi's shirt here, but it was uh, 7 95 I could have made a few quid on it, but passed on it. With the jeans, super dry ones are quite nice, but super dry seems to be a brand that uh, doesn't sell as well as you would expect it to. Next shop, it's a nice handbag here. See, this is why I bought this um, this new mount. Hopefully, the the aspect that you get from from the GoPro will be better. There's this hat. It's an Aston Villa sort of Russian style winter hat. Didn't have a price on it. Um, I was going to ask, but I thought no, that's not um, that's not for me. Had a look through the menswear. Again, nothing that uh, jumped out at me. This shop you can find stuff. They tend to price stuff um, one to two pound for a t-shirt and stuff like that. So there is stuff in there worth buying um, but I couldn't find anything today. Next shop, this Adidas t-shirt was nice, it was a F F50 I think or something, this is a football boot but didn't go for it. I did find though this uh, Cotton Traders top, definitely be buying that. Quick flick through everything else, but um, nothing else. Went back to that t shirt that I did quite like. That. Harry Potter. I think that's just a prior mark. Still, but at least we found something. So, we're on the mid top. Bought. Next shop, more hand sanitizer. Saw a Levi's um, badge straight off. There they are. Really, really good condition. Six pound. We'll have them. Anything else? Nothing today. The games that I looked at in the window here, um, there's an American football one, um, which was tempting. I didn't go for it. Also, the Monopoly Mushy Monsters. I should have bought that, I don't know why I didn't buy that. And I've just spotted now, which I didn't see somehow when I was there, but the Harry Potter hardbacks. I have started buying um, more Harry Potter books to make up bundles to, be, to, to sell them on. Because you can make a bit of money from the books that way. Um, and obviously you can find the odd first edition that might be worth a few quid. I did our shoes when I asked the boots and the shoes, but they were they were just too expensive, unfortunately. Next shop, hands. 
do get a bit sticky after all this. Some games here in the um, in the cabinet. Um, I think they were all two pound a game. We play. You can get a few quid for that one. Uh, all the rest were PC and some older 360 tiles. Nothing. Nothing I needed. In the coats here, there was a Ben Sherman Parker. And I thought, hello, I'm in here, but. Surprisingly, not worth very much. I think it was a tenner. It's that one there. It was a tenner. I thought, well, that's going to be 30 quid, but uh, no, be about 16, 17 pounds. Then at the end there, you can just see the, um, the sheepskin coat. Didn't have a price on, but um, I took it to the counter and asked how much, and I did buy that. look through the games this star wars episode one card game um i always look at star wars but episode one does the other one that's not worth it but put that back with the did spot this thomas take and play um just quickly it is opened but inside it's new quickly checked it to make sure the train's in there and it is um so i think it was five pounds or something at that sort of price that's worth buying and there we go. I think my battery ran out not far after this. So that's me walk around the charity shops. Let's uh, hand over to Jim and see what we bought. Right, well, I hope that uh, video turned out okay. Um, mixed bag of finds today, not very much. Um, but what I have found, I'm really pleased with. I found some good stuff. She makes some decent money on. Um, and some stuff that's quite random really and I wouldn't normally pick up but um, there we go um, one of the first finds was this uh, backpack it's a huge uh, camping hiking backpack it's a low alpine Alpa Mayo 70 plus 20 um, it means something to someone I expect I think it's 70 litres and 20 litres, isn't it? The capacity of the um, of the backpack. A couple of marks on it, but it will clean up okay. Paid eight pounds for it. I should be looking somewhere in the 25 to 30 pounds, so not too bad. I did try carrying it around, but it's just so big, I just kept knocking into people in shops. Didn't go down very well. Um, on the camping theme, but in another shop, I found this vintage um, Hawley Goodall um, Rover 200 tent. While I was in the shop, I googled Hall, or I, I checked on eBay, Hawley and Goodall, and the only tents that came up were massive old vintage frame tents, like from the 80s, and they were they sold for hundreds. So I thought, Fiverr is worth a go. I've got home and checked it, and there was one sold on eBay for 4.99. But I think that was just because it was on auction. I think because it's a vintage tent. Um, I've sold a lot of vintage windbreaks and camping equipment for, for VW campers and stuff. So as a puck tent or something, that might go down quite well. So I'll probably put it off to 30 or 40 quid. See what goes. Um, and yeah, just see what happens. Um, I found some, I haven't found these for a while actually, some Aramith um, snooker balls. Uh, these are full size, I beg your pardon, they're not snooker balls, they're pool balls. Uh, full size, full set. Um, they have got a few chips on. These are normally used in pubs and stuff, so they, they, they can get a bit worn. Um, but even so, these are the brand of, 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 of snooker pool balls to buy. Um, this pack was a fiver, um, and I'll put that on for 29 99 and I don't see an issue with that selling very, very quickly. Um, this was a random find. Um, it's a um, three-way pivot bracket for a GoPro. Now, I've been looking for one of these. I've been looking on Amazon and eBay to get one for my GoPro um, because I struggle with getting the angle right. Here's my GoPro here. So if I clip it on my backpack, it tends to go that way. So I've been looking at getting something like this, and now I've found one in the charity shop for a pound. So I'll take that all day long. I can put that on here and then I should be able to swivel the camera a bit more and get it dead straight on so that the view from when I'm taking video is a lot better. So that was a good find. 
Um, the rest of it, no, I beg your pardon, I was going to say the rest of it's clothing. There is some clothing, there's, then there's some toys. Pair of Berghouse um, fleece gloves, they were two pounds. Sell them for a tenner, unless I keep them for myself for when it's cold and my hands are freezing. A uh, pair of Levi's, these are 514s in sort of a beige khaki colour. Um, really good condition, I paid six for them. Put them on between 15 and 20 pounds, probably go 17.95 on there. Really, really nice. Been picking up a fair few of these lately, Cotton Traders England um, rugby shirts. Not necessarily they look like the shirt that, you know, like um, the shirts they wear, but, but replica items and, um, what's the word? Bear with me. Replica items and like branded clothing. This one is obviously uh, England. It's a double XL, which is a, sorry, a three XL. Good size for a big old rugby player. Um, sorry, yeah, paid two pound for it. I've been selling them for around 15. Um, last bit of clothing was this. This is so cool. It's like a vintage, well, it is, it's not like a, it is a vintage sheepskin um, coat. Just bear with me a second, let me just roll backwards a bit. So it's a double-breasted sheepskin coat. Let's whack it on. Look at that. Fits like a blooming glove, that does to be fair. So it's a vintage sheepskin coat. Oh, look at that. And here's John Watson on the football doing some commentary today. Yes, um, that was an awful impression. I apologise, John Watson. Obviously, John watches, so yeah, shout out to John. Um, it's a uh, medium. No, it's a it's a double XL. Um, fits me nice. It's by a company called Hayton of Nantwich. Um, I did notice when I got home with it though that there is some damage just there but anyway that's not too bad uh, paid a tenner for the coat paid a tenner for it i think somewhere around 40 to 50 for that it's the season to sell coats at the end of the day so please do that one couple of toys this is uh thomas take and play dashy's misty island mission it's brand new it is opened but it is brand new i checked it in the shop you can see it's brand new and it has got, most importantly of all, if he'll come out, he won't come out. Misty's in, uh, Dash is in there. My little train. Paid £4 for it. The only one sold on eBay, sold in America with postage. $25 plus $11 postage. So I don't know whether this is a, a rare one or something. I'll do a bit more checking on it. But if I can get 25 quid for it, I'll be more than happy. Um, so yeah, four pound, not too bad. Last thing is this Mickey Mouse Fantasia spinning head thing like that. Um, I paid a pound for it. it. I think it makes noise. It's got a speaker. But when I got it home, I didn't check. Batteries are corroded, which obviously is not good. I'll take them out, give it a good clean, clean up the contacts with a bit of sandpaper or a file or something. See if I can get it working. If I can, that's £15. Um, I think that's it for today. Just having a look around, see if I've missed nothing. No. So, not too bad. I say, not a huge amount of stuff, but it's worth going when you, when you find stuff like that. I make a bit of money, so I'm more than happy. So... I hope that's of use to someone. Thanks for watching as always. Please subscribe if you haven't, like the video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.